I like this instrument because it's versatile. You can play various things on it. It's small and handy. You don't need to take loads of technical gear with you when you want to play. The story of the Schwitzer Urgeli begins in this old building in Schwitz, in the heart of Switzerland. This is where Alois Eichhorn started to build the original Schwitzer Urgeli in 1886. Originally, the melody side had a row of nine buttons, and the bass side had two buttons. Alois Eichhorn introduced treble fingering and a flat keyboard. The typical Schwitzer Urgeli today has 18 bass buttons arranged in two rows, and 31 treble buttons on the right hand in three rows. The Schwitzer Urgeli has its own unique tuning called Schwitzerton. On the treble side, each button has three sets of reeds, with one main set and two other sets an octave higher than the first. Each is tuned slightly apart to give a tremolo sound. The note is much too high. I have to make it lower. So I file at the back. Now it's exactly right. And if I want it higher, I have to file at the front. I learnt my trade from the grandchildren of Alois Eichhorn, the founder. The company Eichhorn has produced 55 to 60,000 instruments in the last 150 years, and at some stage they come back to us for servicing. The instruments tend to be handed down through the family. Eichhorn has decades old spare parts, so this is the place to come for repairs. But the company also makes about 30 new instruments every year, often for Swiss people living abroad. It's important to use seasoned wood, so Eichhorn has a big store of it. It takes three months to build the instrument from scratch. But it's not just the handcrafting that makes it unique. Many visitors we meet say that when they travel abroad, and somewhere or other, they see a Swiss army knife or hear a Swiss accordion, they think of home. I hear that a lot. People feel this connection, whatever their social standing. Everybody seems to agree that the Schweizer Urgeli belongs to the Swiss. Schweizer. <laughs> 